no doubt the last sort of six months to a year, even two years sort of thing, I've definitely been in a big sort of exploratory mode, trying to find new little creeks, new little systems, new little areas where it's hard to get into and uh, I can find sort of my sense of adventure and a new unique sort of fishing adventure for myself. It's quite funny, like I probably spend more time on Google Maps than anything any other sort of application on my phone or computer or anything like that. Trying to find little sort of little honey holes, little places to get the kayak into or get walk myself in and try and get into some areas where people usually don't get into. Earlier this year I did a little series where I went up to a little coastal creek and uh, I pushed myself, pushed myself very very hard. It was like a four kilometer trek down the beach into this little creek and yeah really really good and you guys seem to really enjoy it. And sure enough, here we are again. It's almost a year since that last series, and uh, yeah, we're gonna go try it again. Different creek system. I've had this one in the back of my mind for the past sort of 18 months. Just had never really had the chance to go explore it, and uh, today's the day. So honestly, this time of year, we could catch anything in these little creeks, and uh, I'm so damn excited to see how it goes. But yeah, I'm off to work uh, this morning, and I'll finish late this afternoon, and then once that's done, pack the rest of the car and head on our way. Yes. Oh, oh, that's a big one. Oh, yes. Oh, get you ground. Oh, my God. What, what a way to start the season. Go. Yep. Oh, oh. oh. Yes. Wow, that was epic. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Alrighty guys, so it's night time at the moment and finished work and just hit the road and we just pulled over for some petrol for some food and stuff like that. I'm really really excited and uh, we're not too far away from the spot now and what I'll do is once I get there I'll kind of set up camp and everything. To be honest there's not much point in filming it because it's quite dark at the moment and uh, you won't see too much so what I'm going to do is pick up the camera when it's time to get up and get ready to go fishing and yeah hopefully we can get into these little skinny creeks so similar to last time i'm going to be walking down a beach it's not as far as last time last time was like four kilometers i was crazy when i did this time's only about a one to two so shouldn't be too bad at all and um, i'm really really keen really really excited so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to tuck into my food now and then um yeah we're just going to hit the road keep going we'll see you guys early in the morning all right Good morning folks, we finally made it here and uh, last night I did get a decent sleep but you know those sort of jitters you get before a fishing session and you're not sure how the session's going to go or whatever. That was definitely me uh, last night, you know, I'm really really excited to be here and I'm really really grateful that I get the opportunity to do this sort of stuff. So you can see the creek in the background here and uh, we've got a high tide at the moment and um, I believe the tide has just turned or is about to turn and then I'm just going to be fishing that run out almost to low uh, this morning and see how we go try and put some pieces of the puzzle together and see if we can't get anything. So I might just have a quick bite to eat and then we'll get straight into it. Well, let's go. All right, you've got a few days to figure out this sort of system. Basically like a little mangrove lined system. So, who doesn't like a surface? Start off in one, so start on this bank and work our way up. Plenty of time today, the next day, and the day after. So, we'll just see how we go. Oh, 
He's come out just there. Oh. He just come out for it. Missed him. He didn't have a very good crack at it, but that was one. Damn. Oh, that was a good one too. Yeah, it's a little one. It's a little one. Get in here. Little guy. Yes. 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 How good's that? Oh, that did not take too long at all this morning. First one of the season. So sick. All right, we'll get out and get a quick photo of him. How good. Only a, only a wee little, wee little fish. Little pupski there, probably about 25, 30 sort of thing. On that splash prawn. Really, really cool. Early season, and it's the first of the season. What a way to start it with an awesome sort of top water bite. Just literally missed his bigger brother on a snag right next to where he came out of. And uh, yeah, I will take that. I will take that. So stoked. All right, I'll get a tag in him, we'll get a quick measure, and then um, yeah, we'll send him on his way. You. There we go, he's got his tag. He's gone 32. He's a little puppy. Out of here. Well, that didn't take too long at all. I'm super, super stoked. The bank looks so good. I missed a big one uh, just on that other side, literally a couple of meters up from him. So let's keep throwing the surface around while we've got these low light conditions. So we've got some cloud overhead, so hopefully we can have it for a bit longer. Let's get into it. Don't care what size they are. They're by far my favourite fish, and if you can catch them on surface, it's even better, so it's always fun. He's using the little MMD splash prawn. Well, it's not little, the 95 mil. Yeah, it's quite easy lure to use if you've seen any of my other stuff. And uh, basically all you do is you just cast it right into the structure. That's not the cast, but anyway. And um, I like to sit it there and kind of let the ripples kind of go away, and then just give it a couple of bloops. And pause. The pause is really key. You can probably get them on a straight burn, but I think the pausing is really, really key. It's better cast. I think the key with any jack fishing is that you just got to get that lure right into the structure, like as close as you can. Basically, you want to snag up or get as close as you can. I think that's really, really key. If you're not close enough, you might get the occasional one, but you've got your better chance if you get it like right up, butt up against the, the structure and stuff. And um, yeah, just hold on. You got it? Smacking a little splashy this morning. Oh, big boil on it. Big boil on it. There he is. Oh, big one. Big ones. There he is. Look. There was about four of them.
snag. Nice little mighty. Little one, little Jack, little Bubba Jack just coming out for it. Oh, that was one. They're really just nudging it, eh? They love it skipped in there, but they're just nudging it. Just pecking it, swiping at it, and they're not brim, I can see them. That's a big one. No, 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 no. Oh, wow, that was epic. Oh, stay there, stay there, mate. Oh, that's a horse on the surface, Placky. That's a horse. Oh, he's right there. Back it up, bro. Back it up, back it up, back it up. That's a horse. Oh, oh he's gonna wreck me. He's gonna wreck me. Okay. I gotta free spool him. Oh. I'm gonna free spool him. Oh, that's a horse. Oh, I'm shaking. Oh, that's a big jack. Stay on, mate, please. Just stay on. Oh, he's, he's going, he's going, he's going, he's going. Wow, that's a big jack. That's a big jack. Oh mate, swim into the net. Come on. Be a lamb. Oh. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Oh, okay. He's out. Oh. Get in there. Get in there. Oh, this is a cluster. Oh my god. Yes! 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 Oh my. Oh my god. Oh my god! <sighs> Gotta get this fish in the water, keep him, get him breathing. Oh my! I am a mess. Look at this line. I've got lures and trees. I've got line wrapped around me, left, right, and center. Oh my god! That's one of the more epic jack fights I've had. Oh my god! Speechless. Absolutely speechless. Oh, <laughs> that is so sick. All right, I knew that they would like this technique. Look at this line, it's all through these mangroves and trees. He absolutely wrecked me. Absolutely wrecked me. I'm a mess, eh? Oh my god. We'll go to one of these banks and, um, yeah, get this little fella out, get a photo with him. Oh my god. That was unreal. Oh my god. I've just got him in here. I'm just getting him a little bit of a revive because that was a bit of a fight and I'm um, just mucking around with all that sort of stuff. But oh my god. I gotta show you the lure that I've been using and uh, it's a technique that hasn't really been used yet for Jax. I used it in a video a little while back and uh, I had no doubts that this was going to work for Jax. And first couple of casts I got some swirls, hits, poofs, and now we got this nice, nice red dog. Unreal. This creek is unreal. This is the first time fishing it and I've had it on my on my mind for the last sort of year and a half sort of thing. And oh my god, what a way to start the season. Fire out. Absolutely stunning red dog. Surface, early morning, early season. Can't be today. That's absolutely epic. I'm super, super stoked with that. He's a beautiful Jack. He's probably mid 40s, maybe almost 50. And uh, yeah, absolutely smashing that little imposter prawn. It was just this little Rapala imposter prawn. 
getting it done. Yeah, he's pretty cranky at the moment, so I don't want to put my fingers in his mouth or anything like that. So we'll get a measure on this one, get a tag in him and send him on his way. But that is a stunning fish, stunning fish. And they're by far my favorite fish to target and see why. Absolutely stunning. There we go. Beautiful red dog. Beautiful stuff. Gonna shoot off like a rocket, probably. I'm gonna revive there. Out of here. This place is insane. Absolutely insane. I've seen so many more, and there's just been some swiping at whatever, but that was one of the most epic eats I've had on the jack for a long, long time. And uh, he had me wrapped up right in this mangroves straight away, and I had to hand line and pull him out because the rod was like a seven foot rod. Not great in the kayak. I know I probably should have gone for my six foot or six six. Yeah, <laughs> I'm still shaking. That is so sick. What a way to start the season. And uh, you know, I could finish this session a happy man. I honestly could be a happy, happy man. So, But there's still plenty of water to explore, so we're gonna keep pushing up, see if we can get any more. So sick. Unfrickin' believable, hey. Unbelievable. This is a little creek, a little snag he came off. And look how skinny this water is. Like, it's tiny. Like, it's probably not even 10 meters across. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Absolutely wrecked me through there. Unbelievable. What a start to the season we're having. And uh, just on this little Rapala Crush City imposter prawn. That's the banana prawn color, I believe. And so I explained this in a video uh, about a month or so ago when I was chasing some bass. And uh, basically it's a weedless worm hook, just the TT sort of chin locks hook. Stop it from sliding up and down. And I'm using it like a surface frog. So you know the boys that fish up north and they fish the little frogs, skip it right in and they just kind of draw it back out. Exactly the same sort of technique, and uh, yeah, it seems to be working, so the jacks have been loving it. I've been seeing a heap come out and absolutely smack it, so um, that's really, really cool. And um, yeah, we'll just see if we can't get any more. Looks like running out of water up the back here. Oh, a couple of fish. That was one of the more epic jack fights I've had for a while. Got the best little shimmy action, eh, this little imposter prawn. Oh, yep, got him. Got him. What is that? Oh, Mr. Brimson. Mr. Brimson. <laughs> I knew that I'd probably get these as bycatch if I did this. Mr. Brimson. There you go. Little Brimson. Little imposter prawn, hey? Oh, there was one. Damn it. There he is. Have you got it? Yep, got him. Yep, yep. Epic. It's only a little fella. Yes, on the imposter prawn again. Only a little fella. How good's that? Nice. Just a pup ski. Just a little little wee tacker. That's so cool though. On this imposter prawn, hey. How good is that? Just a little pup ski. On that imposter prawn. Really, really cool. They're loving it. Just loving it, little subsurface, little presentation. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. And you're on your way, mate. Thanks for the fight. Get out of here. So sick. Oh. There he is. Come on, hit it. Little Jack. Well. Might be throwing this little imposter prawn more this, more this trip. Yeah, absolutely loving it. Yeah. Oh, there was one there. That's a good one. Jesus. Where is he? Jesus. 
That was a good one too. And there's really skinny water, hey? Crazy. Yep, there we go. Yep. Yep. Get up. Get it up. Oh my god. That's not even a jack. That fought harder than the, the, the third jack. Gee whiz. Little pikey. That's definitely a pikey. Look how dark he is. There we go. Thick pikey. Hanging up here with the jacks. Oh, did you see that? Did you see that swirl on it? That was a jack coming from a mile away. No way. No way. Alrighty guys, just as quick as the um, tide was rushing in and the bite was hot, the tide is rushing out. We'll see how we go. That's probably a good thing though. That means that I might come back this afternoon. Uh, so I'll fish a couple more banks towards the mouth that I went past and then uh, yeah, I'll tie up the kayak, um, lock it up and then um, head back to camp, get some lunch, have a little bit of a kip, review the footage, do something like that and then um, yeah, come back out for the afternoon session. I think that is the way to do it. Uh, just fish these early mornings for a couple of hours, rest during the day, and then come back in the afternoon. So we'll just see how we go. We'll jump back in the yak, see if we can get anything else. Alrighty, so what I've managed to do is I've tucked the kayak up in the mangroves up here. and locked it off and stuff like that. So hopefully no one pinches it. I don't think anyone will pinch it. I haven't seen any signs of life in and around here other than my kayaking dragging. So hopefully she's here this afternoon when I decide to come back. So, but it's gonna make it a lot easier on my back and stuff like that, uh, lighten the load and I'm only take a few things back to the campsite. So really, really good little morning session, those three jacks. And then obviously I think we got three or four brim as well. Not the target species, but we got the jacks. So that's really, really cool. And um, it confirms that they're in here. So that's really, really cool. Super, super excited to kind of explore this more. But yeah, the tide is definitely hooting out now. And uh, I think it'll turn sort of in a couple of hours or so. And then we'll fish that run in top of the tide this afternoon. So let's get back to camp. Alrighty guys, so I'm back at camp now. Uh, it's been about a couple of hours since I finished on the beach. And I uh, just had a quick bite to eat. Uh, finished setting up the rest of camp. I really only set up the swag last night just because I wanted to get some sleep and then um, yeah now it's all set up ready to go for the rest of the week. Really really fun little session and I uh, got that early one on the surface with the splash prawn and then got the two other ones and a bunch of brim on the imposter prawn. This little dude right here, that one right there, the little imposter prawn by Rapala. So you can see there there's no weight to it except for that little chin and that's just like to hold it in place, stop it from sliding up and down the shank. I'm pretty happy with that sort of um, setup. And uh, really, really good on the little spin gear. It'd be tricky to do it on this, uh, the bait casting gear just because it's super, super light. I'd throw it on the BFS for bass, but jacks, no way. I'm not throwing that BFS stuff for jacks. So, um, really, really cool. So, I hope you guys uh, try this sort of technique with these little guys because I think these are going to be game changing. As you saw, we got that mid 40s. I think it was end up being 46 jack. So, really, really cool. And I'm um, on my spin gear. So, that's my 702 SF. So, it's like a 6 to 12 pound rod, probably a bit light. Seven foot for the skinny creek stuff. Uh, I probably prefer a six six or a six foot rod. The seven foot's just a little too long, but we're making do with it, and it, it did seem to do pretty well. So, thirty pound braid, thirty pound leader, uh, fluorocarbon leader for all my setups. I don't run any mono or anything like that. That's really really cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, re-rig the rods and stuff like that, and then I'm um, get ready for this afternoon session. So we've probably got another two hours or so to kill. So we'll get everything ready ready to go for the afternoon send. So cool. She's blowing up today. She is angry. Old Mother Nature. Be this way. That was dicey there for a moment, ladies and gents. Water coming over the front of the yak and around the back and stuff like that. I had to pull some scuppers out. Just know your limit. Don't push yourself too far. No fish is worth your life. Yep, yep, well, oh my god! No! Oh my god! 
Oh my God. The leader was, the line was still there. It snapped at the braid. Did you get that? Was I recording? Yep, yep. Well, oh my God. Oh. <laughs> that snapped at the braid. What was that? That was huge. Huge fish, snapped me off. That's 30 pound braid, eh? And like 30 pound leader. Just snapped me. Huge, huge. Whatever that was. Well, better retie my leader. Put that skip casting plastic on. It's like third or fourth cast. Oh my God. Biggest boil I've ever seen. Good morning, folks. Had actually a pretty good sleep last night. Got a few hours under the belt. It's actually quite chilly. I've got my jumper on, but that's not going to deter me from going for these jacks and uh, summer sort of species in these creeks, especially yesterday with the amount of action that we got. The water temps weren't too bad, but um, similar sort of air temperature to yesterday. Um, we had a little bit of a bite to it, but the good thing too is that the winds have died off, so should be good. And uh, yes, yeah, so let's just chuck into some brekkie pack the bags, and then um, head on down the beach, down to the creek. Let's go. Well guys, we made it down the beach, and um, she's absolutely stunning. A little bit of wind, not too much at all. Like yesterday it was like 20, 30 knots, and this is probably like four. So that's really, really cool. We're a bit early, as I said, um, so the tide is still coming in slowly. So what I'll do is I'll use that tide to my advantage and kind of push up the creek. And uh, I can see there's already some breakers and stuff out there, so I've got to be careful. Have my wits about me. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to go about that little bit. Yeah, that's a good one. I'm the pasta fly again. Get in there. Yes! Yes! Oh, I was daydreaming. How good's that? Yes! So sick. Oh. So sick. That's a good one too. Not a bad start to the morning. I honestly wasn't confident at all on this incoming tide. Sure enough. First one this morning. How bloody good. How bloody good. Well, I didn't think that I was gonna get something on this incoming tide, that's for sure. Just fishing this really, really shallow bank. I was here before and actually it was where I was walking, so it's full of water now. And I was like, oh, I'll just keep peppering, peppering, peppering and have a little bit of an explore. And sure enough, we got this beautiful little jack. 
low 40s probably. There we go. Beautiful start to the morning. And that little imposter prawn. Skip weedless right up into the shallows like it was literally a foot of water and I actually saw him kind of sitting there. I saw, I thought it was like a brim or something. But uh, yeah, and he just come out absolutely clobbered it. Really, really cool on that imposter prawn. So we'll give him a revive, we'll put a tag in him and uh, send him on his way. So sick. There we go. Beautiful fish. Gone 40. Beautiful Jack. There's a little bling up there. We'll send him on his way. He's out of here. So graceful, so slow. That's so sick, early morning. That's why you get up. And um, I believe the tide is just slowing down now and about to turn out. So we might even just keep peppering along this bank and then head back to the creek that we were in yesterday. But that is so cool. I didn't think that this imposter prawn will work this good, but it's working super, super well. So we might even just throw it for a little bit more. I did throw that MMD uh, bony swim for a bit. I got a follower and stuff, so we might even throw that on as well. We'll just see how it goes. So sick. Really, really cool. Really, really cool. Didn't think that this would work this good, but they are absolutely frothing. A little imposter prawn here. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Looks like the tide's just about to turn, so I might just poke my head around here, have a little bit of a look, and then, uh, yeah, turn around. Oh, here he comes. Yep, got him. I saw him. Yes. Oh. Little fella. How sick. How sick is that? Just a little guy. Skipped it right in there and I saw the bait fleeing and flicking. How good's that? Little pupski. Another one on the imposter. Gets all sizes of sorts of jacks, so that's really, really cool. So cool. Loving this little prawn this morning. Beautiful little fella. See, mate. In there, it's like literally two to three foot. And I saw the bait fleeing and flicking. I was like, uh oh, there's a jack in there. And the main thing with these skipping plastics is that you've got to get it right up in there, eh? Right up the back of the structure. You might get one on the fringe or whatever, but they're right up the back, tucked up right up into the structure. So get it up right up in there. Oh, yes! Oh, dropped him. Oh, my God. Did you see that? Oh, fucking hell. Far out, Brussels sprout. I might just keep throwing this prawn for a little bit more. <sighs> Far out. As I said last time, and at the time I used it for bass, a little imposter prawn, it just looks like a perfect little prawn on the surface. So I'm not surprised that these jacks love it. I'm not surprised at all. What I'm seeing is I'm seeing a lot of little jelly prawns tucked up right up into these mangroves. And um, when, you, when you skip the lure in there, you see that sort of cloud of prawns just going in like little bait and stuff like that. So definitely match the hatch is playing in my favor today. And uh, yeah, I think that's gonna be key is just trying to get that little prawn presentation in there. I've got some skipping plastic, some sort of mullet imitations and whiting imitations, and I've got that bony swim as well, but only when I really see the mullet and stuff, that's when I'm gonna throw it. And uh, yeah, we'll just keep going, see how we go. I think the tide is just about to turn here. The sun is right up now, and so it's really critical to get that lure right into those dark, really shaded spots up the back of these, can, these snags. 
That's where they're going to be, he's going to be hiding. Get right up in there. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, oh, where is he going? Is that a jack? No, it's not. Oh, new species. Oh, well. Oh my god, he's wrecking me. Absolutely wrecking me. Wow, the power on him. The power. Wow. Oh my god. He's going hard. Alright, okay, you gonna go in there or what? Alright. Little Jeet. On the imposter prawn. Interesting. Watch for those scoots, eh? The imposter on the imposter prawn. <laughs> little creek GT, little rat. Really, really cool. Haven't caught anything for maybe half an hour or so, so good to see that there's life up here. There we go, don't catch too many of these, so I will take that. Get out of here. Yep, yep, side cast at him. That's a jack, yep, yep. Oh, yes, how good, I heard him. I heard him, Boof. Get in here. Yes, yes, yes. I heard him boofing up in these little shallows here. Yes, number three. Yes, oh, I was losing confidence. It's been about an hour since that first one, or that, that little guy, that second one, so I'm stoked with that. Yes. Right, we'll get out here, probably gonna eat it because it's all muddy and stuff, but anyway. Yes. How good. No matter the species, when you can sight cast the fish and then catch it, unreal, absolutely unreal. This jack is kind of just biting into the net here, so I've got to jimmy it around. I don't know if you can see it. The in there, that's his mouth. That's his mouth right there. <laughs> Give me two secs, I'll try and get him out. It's safe to say this one's real pissed off. Took me a little while to get it out of the net, but there we go. Another beautiful red dog today on that imposter prawn. It's working super, super well. And uh, yeah, I was throwing it for maybe half an hour or so and didn't really get too much interest. Got that little GT, uh, a couple of little brim come out and followed it. But um, yeah, this is one of the crankier jacks. That we've got today that's for sure we'll get a quick tag at him and then um yeah we'll just send him on his way he's had enough time out of the water and he's real pissed off and i don't want him to i don't want him to bite me to be honest so i'll six that that is so sick hey eh? on this little imposter prawn i've actually changed color because he kind of busted up that lure and uh, although they're super stretchy and all the rest of it, uh, they do tear a little bit easily, um, especially on that nose piece where you're gonna put that little uh, keeper through. But that's okay, I'm happy to compromise in terms of durability uh, if it's gonna be catching me fish. So the main thing is that it tends to slide down this hook, you probably run a bead, but um, yeah, down this nose here, it's pretty, pretty soft, but that's okay, that's okay. As long as it swims straight, I'm happy. Something causing head wake up over here. Oh, it's a pack of rim. Come on then, eat it. <laughs> pack of rim, that's what it was. If you told me this trip that I'd be using my spin rod more than my bait casting rods and using one lure not like my surface treble lures or anything like that. I'd call you crazy. It's not even the case this season, this trip. I got him. Oh no. 
wrapped me. Hit it and wrapped me. It was wrapped around the tree. But it come through, hit it, and missed it. All right, so we're back at camp now, and uh, yeah, just chilling out, just having a good time and uh, reminiscing on the morning that we had, which was really, really cool. Had some lunch, look at the footage, exporting it, all that sort of stuff, cleaning up the gear and stuff, and just making a game plan for tomorrow. So this afternoon, I'm going to be making it pretty chill. I'm not going out back up to that creek. <laughs> Yesterday, the tide was about a 2.8 meter tide, and today is meant to be like a 3.3, 3.4, so it's going to be even faster and heavier, and it's meant to be blowing up a little bit, a bit more windier. But the main thing I want to do and try and achieve is looking at some other spots as well. So a lot of time and effort goes into looking at the actual spots as opposed to actually fishing it, and I've got all these spots marked out on the map so that if I'm ever up here again, I can go have a look and say, okay, this is going to be a good launch spot, etc, etc. So that's the, probably the game plan for this afternoon, have a look and tick the boxes of the spots that I have looked and potentially look good. And then, uh, yeah, just chill out this afternoon and have a, have a wonderful, wonderful time. Should be good. You thought you were going to get one of my zones. Not today, unfortunately. I'm not going to share that with you. Sorry, guys. And um, there's a good reason for that. A lot of these jack spots are hard to get into. And as you've seen, you know, they, you can catch quality, quality fish. But behind the scenes, there's a lot, a lot of work that goes into it. And more often than not, I spend a lot of time on Google Maps looking for spots, marking little locations and stuff like that. And then when I get the chance, I'm going to go have a look at these zones. So I'm not going to show you this one, but it looks really, really good. Might come back at a later date whenever I'm in the area. And uh, yeah, it looks really, really good. I've done about three or four and I've ticked them all off and they all look pretty good. Anyway, let's get back to camp. Alrighty guys, so little sizzle steaks for dinner tonight and uh, it's not even dark yet and I'm having dinner. I feel just having an early night and uh, I'll go to bed pretty soon because I've decided I'm still going to hit the same creek but I'm just going to push up a little bit further. On Google Maps and stuff it looks like there's a couple of bends and stuff like that that are pretty shallow but have the little deep drop offs as well so it might be worth it throwing little lures in there and yeah just making the most of the last day that we've got here. So we'll see how we go. Similar sort of thing as today. Tide's going to probably be a little bit bigger as we get close to the full moon and uh, yeah we'll just see how we go. Obviously that imposter prawn is working really really well so you can assume that that's going to be tied on tomorrow. I'm going to throw on me confidence baits like my MMD splash prawns, maybe a skip casting plastic but anyway my steaks are probably burning so I'll see you in the morning. morning guys day number three and the final day today uh, of the trip I've got to head back got some stuff to do back home got a few more weedies than usual just because the zone that I'm going to not too far it's not crazy or anything like that but the paddle should be alright it's just that I'm gonna be covering a lot more ground hopefully today the little creek that I was fishing really really good as you can see that yesterday I figured that it's really only good for a small amount of time and um, I found this other stretch that's got a little bit deeper, a little bit off the uh, main path and uh, hopefully there's some fish holding up in there. But we'll see and if it's if it goes to crap then I can go back to that other creek anyway. So but yeah, it's, as you can see I'm rugged up in a jumper. It actually got quite chilly overnight. Yesterday and the day before was very similar too. So you could imagine the first day when I woke up and it was chilly as I was like, oh God, we're not gonna catch anything. But during the day, like it got to like 28, 29 degrees. So nice and warm. Let's just hoe into this wheat picks. I'm gonna try and get to the kayak at first light. So you're probably not gonna see too much of me walking down the beach. So let's get into it. fishing today. I know the zones where they'll be sitting so just need to pick those zones out and just leave the zones that didn't really pay pay off. Like a lot of it looks really good. 
and we've got this incoming tide so I'm not really too fussed just yet. It's that outgoing tide that really gets me going. Big school of them. Massive school. Damn it. Damn it. I saw them parked up on this little snag here. I thought they were brim. No, they were little reds. Little reds. Now they come back. So he was, we had a school of them, about five of them. Got it? Yep. Yeah, yeah that was epic. I thought that was a brimbo. Little one, yes. Oh, well, he's not that bad. Epic. Saw him come right out of the shallows. Yes, not bad, not bad way to start the morning. So shallow in there, eh? Like it's like a foot, a foot or two. So sick. All right, we'll just go up to this bank and then we'll send him on his way. So sick. Angry little pupski to start the morning. Beautiful stuff on that little imposter prawn. Not massive or anything, he's probably what? Mid 30, something like that. But still sick on surface, throwing these little surface plastics right up into the shallows. And it's a flooding tide at the moment. The kayak's actually taking off upstream just because it's flooding in so fast. And this is a really, really shallow sort of sand flat. And there's about a foot of water there. And I think the water is just a little bit slower there. And um, these are where these guys are parked up. So really, really cool. Early morning. Pop a tag in him and send him on his way. Unreal. There we go. Early morning pup skis. He's gone 35. Send him on his way. See you, mate. Thank you. He's gonna shoot off. Very calm. There he goes. So sick. Absolutely aggressive this morning, these little guys. Just that little imposter prawn, as per the last few videos. Doing super, super well. He came right out of the back of the snag, eh? Saw him bow wave. Absolutely smacked it. It's really, really shallow stuff. Just goes to show that weedless is mandatory. Even the weedless gets snagged up. Even the weedless gets snagged up. Crazy to think that bank that I stood on before to get that jack off is, um, oh, better not say that. Crazy to think that bank that I was just standing on before where I got that jack, it's gone. Fully covered with water now. It's how fast this tide's ripping in. Yep. Epic. And a little fella. That's so sick. Number two. Number two along here. Skipped it right up in there and I saw a bow wave on it. Only a tiny little bubba on the imposter prawn. It's probably only like 25 centimeters or so. Probably won't tag him, probably a bit too small. Very, very cool. I'm cranky, look at him. The chompers on him, eh? Cranky dog. Probably the smallest for the trip, I reckon. Just gave him brain damage. Sorry, mate. Beautiful. Oh, again. You're gonna bite me. Very cool. 
ses mains. Number two. If this is not happening to you guys, then you're probably not getting close enough. You need to be right up in there. Oh, that was the tree for sure. I saw you. It's like this tree sticking out. This has probably got something on it. Far out, Russell Sprout. Missed him. There he is. Oh, what? No. Gotta make these cars, Dan. Gotta make these cars. That was a zone. Just barely brushed it. Yep, yep, yep. Epic, yep. Epic. Yep. Take that. Really dark little shaded zone. There we go. Yes. How's that? Little pup ski, just got to hit on that other zone as well. How good's that? I will take that. Nice little pup ski. We'll get a tag in him and send him on his way. Let's get a quick measure 31 centimeters, 32 to the tip. I'll take that. Beautiful on that imposter prawn. Absolutely carving up today. Very, very cool. All right, let's keep going. Caught three jacks each day, so it's probably my quota for the day. I've got three so far. Lost so many more, but the imposter prawn is just catching them. You see, there's not much to it, eh? It's just a straight, straight retrieve. And obviously, like bass, brim, anything, they do like the shade, so the sun's wired up now, but I'm still throwing surface, and um, you've got this really shaded line. And I think the tide's just about to turn here too, so. To make things interesting. Sit the up shallow. Moochin still. Oh, there he is. Wow, that was epic. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. Right at oh, that's why. Wow, right at the yak. I wonder why. Oh, I thought it was a big jack. Big Trev. Big Trev. Trevs love this lure too. I saw a jack down there, but he got it. Wow. <laughs> oh, that gets the heart racing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Big Trev. Can't complain with that for bycatch. That's not a bad Trev either. He's like 50? Jesus. That's probably a PB Trev for me. I don't catch a lot of them. That's a stonker. <laughs> On this imposter pro. And I saw a jack come out for it, but then he swiped it. I thought it was a big jack. Very, very cool. Very, very fun little fish. I suppose we're going to throw this imposter prawn around for a bit more then. Beautiful big creek trev. He's gone 50 centimeters. Cranky bastard. See you, mate. Very, very shallow up in this little section here, eh? Very shallow. There he is. Oh. Big one. Big one. Damn it. 
big one. Oh, Jesus. Did you see that swirl? Big red dog are behind it. Yes. Oh. Yes. How good. Oh. Yahoo. Number four. Oh, that took a little while. Oh, been going for maybe 45 minutes, half an hour, and I wasn't sure whether it was going to happen. So, went to that new zone, didn't really get a lot, and uh, come back to the bank that I got the few this morning. Only a wee tacker, but still. Epic, epic fish. See why they're my favorite fish. Such a pretty, pretty fish. And that imposter prawn do. So sick. See you, mate. Thank you. Just goes to show you probably shouldn't leave feeding fish to go find other fish. Just straight back to where I was this morning. But now the tide is going the opposite direction. There seems to still be some fish up here. It's crazy to think this is where I was fishing this morning. Look at it. It's absolutely shallow. Barely any depth at all. Big grey just spooked. Very, very shallow. But this is where the fish were sitting. Oh, got it. That was epic. That was epic, he had two goes at it. Epic. Look how shallow it is up here, guys. So epic. Oh, that's a good one. That's the best for the day for sure. Epic. Yeah, that's a nice one. Oh. Get in there. Yes! How good. How good. All right, we'll go up to the bank again. Get some photos of him. How good. Probably the best one for today. Beautiful red dog. On that imposter prawn. Skipped weedless right into the structure, same as what I've been doing all day. And they love it. They absolutely love it. And I do as well. It's probably about a 40s or so. Really, really cool. And there's super shallow water, so. He's been out of the water for a bit, so we'll just pop him in the net, grab a tag him, and send him on his way. Epic, epic stuff. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we're done for the session and uh, we've done for the trip. So three days out here, what did we end up in the numbers? I think 11 jacks in about what, 12, 13 hours of fishing, so only four hours each day sort of thing. It's only like mid-morning now, and first light was about five, so about four hours each day, so cannot complain at all. I could have obviously put in a lot more time, but uh, I really, really wanted to hit those tidal areas on that high tide, when it's top of the tide and the run out of the tide. If you told me that I'd only get one fish on my bait casting gear and then the rest on spinning gear, I would call you a liar, and um, I'm super, super shocked or impressed with how well the little imposter prawn by Rapala did. It was fantastic. And obviously you saw there with all that action, skipping it right into the mangroves and skipping it back out. You know, the MMD splash prawn and the MMD soft prawn, they have a special place in my heart. This lure here now has that as well. And uh, it's gonna be game changing. And I hope you guys can learn a thing or two from this trip and hopefully catch some fish on similar techniques. And lastly, the only thing that I really want to point out at the end of the day here is fish sustainably, guys. Uh, these little creeks here, the super little tidal creeks, they can get fished out within a weekend if you, you know you bag out and you're taking a lot of fish. Sure, fair enough if you want to take one for the table or one for dinner or the family or something like that. I'm fine with that, but if you decimate these areas, you know, taking five, six, seven jacks in a session, 
it can wipe them out completely and uh, there's definitely definitely fish in these areas and where you can put some effort in but we've just got to fish it sustainably and look after the fish care for the fish keep them in the net take a quick photo and then send them on their way and I think that'll be really really good coming into the future and the many many years to come because you know 5 10 15 20 years time I still want to be doing this and uh, I really really enjoy this sort of stuff and I want to look back and see that you know that the fishing is sustainable as ever and that these populations of fish in these tiny little tidal creeks are as good as ever so I really really appreciate you guys hanging around for this one I really really had fun filming it but uh, now it's time to head back to the campsite get the kayak wheels trundle her back and head on home thanks guys